Hey YouTube, welcome back to Urban Outdoors. Hey, I'm Urban, but you knew that, didn't you? Hey guys, throughout my life, on several occasions, I have had people ask me, why do you dress like a cowboy? And I've never really given it much thought until just recently. Just recently on Facebook, this is an older video when I was shooting my uh, one of my good one of my rifles. Uh, the video was an older video, but the comment was just made this last week. And some Yahoo gets on there and says, "Why are you dressed like a cowboy? Do you think you're actually a cowboy?" What a joke! What a joke! And uh, I did what I always do with negative pissant comments in my on my YouTube channel and I deleted it but before I deleted it I wanted to see what kind of douchebag would actually take the time out of his day to comment on my video in such a smart ass way I went to his YouTube page I'm not gonna share it or anything like that some of you may have seen the comment but like I say, it was an older video. It's gone now. But I went to this Yahoo's page. And he was like a young 20-something. 20, uh, 20 maybe 21 years old, if that. One of those guys that wears a baseball cap. Tilted to the side with his pants down around his ass. A punk. But anyway... I have had people ask in the past, hey, why do you dress like a cowboy? And it's a simple answer. Because I like to. And because I can. I think that western wear is very useful gear. And that's why cowboys dress that way. Cowboy hats were made to keep the sun out of your eyes like it's doing right now. If I take this hat off right now, I got to squint because that sun is right there. But when I got my hat on, this wide brim keeps that sun out of my eyes. It also protects my head from the sun. I don't get sunburn. Also, if it was raining right now and I'm out here doing work on the property and it's raining, the hat's going to protect me from getting wet. All right? So... Cowboy hats are no different, in my opinion, than any other hat. I think they look good, I think they're comfortable, and I think they serve a specific purpose. More than one. Well, what about the other stuff? Well, what other stuff? Blue jeans? Does that make you a cowboy? A long sleeve button-up shirt? Does that make you look like a cowboy? What about the wild ride? Or some people call them neckerchiefs. Some people just use bandanas. Sometimes I do that. Multiple reasons for this. A wild rag, if you're working in a situation where you've got a lot of dust going up and around, you can put that up over your face like that and keep the dust out. Nowadays, if I go into a place that won't let you shop there because you don't have on a mask, well, I got my mask right here. I can just pull that up. There you go, smart ass. Now what you gonna say? But for me particularly, I like wearing this because when I'm wearing this, people don't see that I have a trach. And I don't get those funny looks. And I don't get all those additional dumbass questions like, what's that thing sticking in your throat? When I wear this, I feel like a normal person. And nobody sees that trait poking out of my throat. And I don't get those funny looks. So wild rags, I think that they look good. And I also think that they're multifunctional. Again, they can keep dust out. You can use it as a mask. I primarily wear these in the winter. I don't wear them so much in the summer. But in the winter, when it's cold, like it is today, they actually help keep your neck warm. Okay? So, multi-purpose. Now in the summertime, a lot of times I'll wear it this way. 
I'll turn it around and wear it like this. And this is a little bit more, I don't know, if I was going to be somewhere more dressy or something like that, I might turn it around this way. But uh, typically, when I'm around the property here, like yesterday, I was doing a bunch of, uh, moving a bunch of dirt and gravel and blowing some leaves and it was really dusty and everything. So it was good to have this. I was able to put it up while I was with the leaf blower blowing up all that dirt and dust. So, again, does it make me a cowboy? No. I don't own a horse. Now, when I grew up, I had a horse. I grew up around horses. Um, I like horses. Um, I don't have horses now. But just because I dress this way doesn't mean I think I'm a cowboy or I'm trying to act like a cowboy or look or be a cowboy. It's just, I like the style, okay? Everybody has their own style. This is mine. Well, what about the belt? Okay, what about the belt? This is a leather belt. It's a very sturdy wheel leather belt. Okay, you can see right there it says leather. This is genuine leather. But you can't get a belt better than a leather belt. And again, a leather belt can serve a lot of purposes. Obviously, they hold your britches up, but you can also use them if you needed to use it as a strap for something. You can sharpen a knife on it if you have to. You could use it as a tourniquet or a sling if you have to. There are a lot of reasons why it's beneficial to have a leather belt. But, again, a belt. Now, the, the belt buckle, that's just for looks. That's just, that is a style thing. I wear the bigger buckle on my belt because I like the way it looks. This one's turquoise. So the belt buckle really doesn't serve much of a purpose other than just being stylish. But you got to have a buckle on your belt. Why not be stylish at the same time? Now, let's talk about boots. I like wearing cowboy boots. Again, I like the way they, they look. They're functional. I've got a pair of black ones and I got a pair of brown ones. And that'll go with anything I wear, black or brown. Now these boots right here, I've had for about 10 years. They're, uh, they're Laredo boots. And uh, yeah, they got some wear and tear on them. They're all scuffed up. I need to take some saddle soap to them, which I do periodically. But 10 years old, these things are just now getting worn in. They're not stiff anymore. They're very comfortable to wear. I've got them very worn in. They're so comfortable. They're like uh, just as comfortable to me as tennis shoes are. And they're just like a pair of dress shoes. When you get a brand new pair of leather dress shoes, you gotta break them in. Cowboy boots are no different. When you first get a cat pair of cowboy boots, they're gonna be stiff as a board. But the more you wear them, the more they break in. And the more you treat them with leather conditioner, saddle soap, the softer they get, the more comfortable they get. They adhere to the shape of your feet. I like square-toed boots like this one here that I'm wearing. I think that these are just more traditional. They, uh, to me, I don't like the pointy tip ones because I don't like my toes being all scrunched up like that. But these boots have a lot of room up here for your toes and they're just, like I say, very comfortable. These boots, while they're not snake-proof boots, they do help. Like, I go out into the property back here a lot, and we got a bunch of thorns. Thorns have taken over the wooded area behind on my property. And we've got eight acres of land back here, and when I'm walking through there, if I didn't have on boots, I'd be getting all scratched up. And that's another good thing about denim jeans. Denim is tougher than sweatpants. It's not so much about trying to look like a cowboy or be a cowboy. It's about a style that I like, functionality and everything. In my back pocket, I got a, a bandana. In case I need to wipe off my face, if I need to blow my nose, clean up something, whatever. I keep that in my back pocket. It pokes out a little bit. That's all right. 
the other pocket, when I'm walking around the property, I got some gloves. I got some good leather gloves. I used these yesterday, like I say, I was doing a bunch of moving dirt and gravel. I was doing a bunch of raking, a bunch of leaf blowing. And if I wouldn't have had these gloves on, my hands would be all messed up and calloused. So having a good pair of leather gloves, these Wells Lamont leather gloves, you can't beat them. Best gloves on the market. They're only about 20 bucks. And again, walking through this property with briars and thorns and stuff like that, gathering firewood, doing a lot of raking, shoveling, all the kind of stuff you do around your property, it's good to have a pair of leather gloves. Are these cowboy gloves? Yeah, I guess cowboys wear these gloves, but so do I. So anyway, getting kind of long, I know you don't like long videos, but I just thought I would go ahead and answer the question, why do you dress like a cowboy? Well, because I want to, all right? And if I was a rude SOB, I could ask people, why do you dress like a thug? Why do you dress like a preppy? Why do you dress like a slob? But I have respect for people and I don't care what people dress like. You do you, let me do me, all right? Anyway guys, till next time, keep calm, carry on, keep it outdoors.